YouTube and daily vinyl fans, vinyl record collectors and enthusiasts, welcome to Collections Within the Collection. This is episode number four, I think. Yes, four. And today we are talking about my signed records, which all have a little bit more story to them. I guess this is a slightly more personal collection within it. They're going to be different for each person. But I definitely wanted to acknowledge it because I think it's, it's neat getting records signed. And if you watched my... Um, top 10 albums you should collect video um, from a couple of years ago. One of the things I, I mentioned that you should have is, is, is a record that's signed, and, and preferably one that you got signed in person, uh, which some of these I did, some of these I didn't. Um, and uh, just to sort of go through that, I, I know that there is a community within the community that says collecting records um, it has nothing to do with getting them signed because that's a completely different thing. And we're just out for the music. But then there's another community of people who probably don't even spin the records. They collect them as novelty pieces uh, just for the sake of having them signed. And, and, and maybe even there's those people who just want to sell them again. That kind of sucks. Um, and, and whatever have you. So, so you have sort of this mixed niche of are we collecting it for the music? Are we collecting it for, for the, the collectability or the, the potential like value of, uh, uh, over time? Or maybe there's this sort of road in between. I would say that I drive on that place as I collect so many records, um, finding some that are signed or getting some signed is sort of like a happy place for me. It makes the record a little bit more exciting because I have a story to tell, something that I link to it. Um, but then again, it's like, you know what? I, I do sometimes sell some of my records. I have over 5,000. I have to move some to make room for new ones. And it sort of justifies the hobby. Um, but uh, I don't think, no, I know I have not sold any of my signed records to date. So let's talk about it. Um, Let's just jump in with this right here. This is 30 Days of Nights, which is a cool horror movie. And if you can't tell from my shirt, um, I am kind of a horror movie buff. Um, and, and this is the movie 30 Days of Night. And it was a limited 2015 Record Store Day blood red vinyl. I have not opened this because I don't want to... Uh, I, I don't even want to mess with it. I've just kind of left it. It's not really something I need to listen to, but I thought it was really cool. It's signed by the composer, uh, the director and writer of the film, and, and one of the actresses from the movie, um, Megan Franich, uh, who played Iris. Um, they all signed it um, on September 13, 2015, not long uh, after this was actually put into production. I got this at a place called Dark Delicacies, which is uh, in California. It's, it's a pretty cool place. Um, I just remember walking in, seeing it, and going, hey, it was mostly horror things and books, and, and they had a record, and so I, I had to buy it. So pretty cool there. Um, moving right along, this is Fits in the Tantrum, signed by the whole band. Um, this was actually a gift. My brother went and saw them with his wife, and, and they were selling uh, a certain number of signed ones each night to start the night, and he thought, why not bring this back to my brother? And I really appreciate it. Um, they are a pretty cool band. Their music is almost a little too radio friendly uh, uh, for some of my tastes but at the same time I would not like go out of my way to turn it off if it was on or something but uh, I like it most importantly because it's it, it was a gift and that means a lot to me um, this is something weird I just found it at a thrift store you can see right here I paid like a buck for it it's a comedian an Irish comedian Hal Roach and and I'm assuming that's real because what who's gonna go out of their way to forge uh, you know this <laughs> but all the same, I just kind of like the graphic on it. I think this guy is actually pretty stylish with his, his denim jacket and his shirt and tie. And, and I don't know. Um, I have not listened to it. I, I only picked it up, uh, well, about a year ago. And I guess I just missed the opportunity uh, for to do it, maybe on St. Patrick's Day or something. But I'm sure at some point I will get to it. Um, this is Brian Wilson. Beach Boys, all right? This I found at um, Barnes & Noble. It's an exclusive autographed copy, um, which I, I see the sticker, um, but I believe the autograph is somewhere on the inside because I have not opened this, and, um, well, you can't see it on the cover. So um, I just have to put faith in Barnes & Noble that they wouldn't lie about it. Um, I haven't really needed to go into listening to uh, this record uh, since I've had it. It was more of an impulse purchase, um, but being that Brian Wilson is the man he is and, and just his legendary career, um, I, I thought, why not? Um, 
what else do I got here? Um, I grew up on punk rock music. Again, I'm kind of a horror buff. This is Land of the Dead. It's actually signed by, I believe, Jerry Only. Um, so uh, kind of weird because, um, you know, it's not like that era of the misfits you know but it was still like a continuation of what he was doing with the project this came out in the early 2000s and uh you can see that the the signature is kind of faded but um you know it's a cool graphic piece signed by jerry i bought this from somebody else i, I did not have that sign of my own um continuing on here's another thrift store find this says paul martin country's greatest love songs it, it, it struck my attention because i saw the sun logo and then i was just kind of looking this over and then i see it right here it says paul martin um not unlike the uh irish comedian i don't think anybody's out there forging this however i don't know i just i grabbed it on a whim uh this one phenomenal jazz pianist um ramsey lewis i bought this on ebay um Ramsey Lewis is probably my favorite Christmas record, him with the trio, um, and, and his music in general is just phenomenal, Sun Goddess, uh, Beyond. I, I was having a Ramsey Lewis phase, and I was buying a ton of Ramsey Lewis stuff, and uh, uh, amongst looking, I found this on eBay, and it was complete pictures with him. It was actually signed in an airport um, for somebody, and there was pictures of him signing this actual record, making this actual signature, and it was, it was like 20 bucks, and it was uh, buy now, free shipping, and so I was like, hell yeah, 20 bucks? Ramsey Lewis. So there's that. Um, if you've ever seen my my video on the most expensive things I have, this is Waylon Jennings. It's signed. It's it's one of his first pressings. It's from Arizona. It was a limited. It's actually highly valuable. His whole house band that night signed it. Uh, limited to 500 pieces once upon a time. Probably much fewer in circulation today. Uh, can go for very high value, but I, I love Waylon Jennings. I have a big black pickup that I call Waylon. It has a Waylon logo on the front of it. And um, so I had to have this one. I paid more than I like to share for it, but uh, it was one that I need to put in my collection, especially being an Arizonan. Uh, prior to purchasing, purchasing that one, while I was on the hunt for it, I actually picked this one up. Um, I don't know if it's authentic or not. The signature is over here in the corner. It's possible. I mean, he, he was sort of a, a local legend around here. There was a bar called the Galloping Goose uh, in between Phoenix and Tucson. You could go where he was at all the time. Um, and so you can find it there. These are uh, Joshua James, uh, singer-songwriter. Um, he's got phenomenal work, and, and I, I've seen him in concert a handful of times. And at one point, me and him talked for about 20 minutes, and, and I picked up a few of his records and had him sign those. Um, let's see. This is one that I'm assuming is a forge. Um, I, I found it, and it says uh, Mick Fleetwood on there. It's rumors. It looks like this was a, a, a library rented copy. Um, unless he walked into some library and decided he might sign their record. Um, I mean, the, the autograph itself or the written part on it does seem very aged. Um, but I'm not going to hedge any bets on this one being authentic. I just keep it in there because I think it's pretty cool. Um, the Ink Spots. This is, uh, you know, playing at the Hacienda Hotel. And I, I'm, what I know about the Ink Spots is they were like different people who would pick up and play in place of each other. This was a, a live record they did. All of them date signed it um, in the 80s. This was another uh, thrift store find at some point. I've got Father John Misty. I've seen him a handful of times. I love I love You, Honey Bear. Still not as much as Fear Fun. That's my favorite. But... Um, this one was a record that really, it was the second one that really stood out to me, and he was signing in Tucson a couple copies each night until I bought this for my wife, and a gold marker, XO, etc. How, how clever and fitting for Mr. Tillman. Um, one of my most recent acquirements, uh, as far as signed records goes, this is uh, Coheed and Cambria's latest release, um, and it's signed by the whole band. Uh, and I got to see them with my buddy earlier this year. I took him. Uh, we saw Every Time I Die and, and them and Mastodon. And um, they were selling these. And, and it was only like $10 more than getting it not signed. And I said, well, as I collect these things, I'm going to pick it up. Um, so there's a few more that I have that aren't um, out. They're up on my wall. I have a copy of With Teeth. A Nine Inch Nails record that's signed by Trent Reznor and, and everybody who was with him uh, in 2005 when that record came out. I have um, uh, Parkway Drive's most recent record, Reverence, um, and it's actually not even the record. It came with the record, but it looks like the cover. It's a 12 by 12 and it's signed by the band. Uh, same with uh, Thrice's last album, or Two Back, excuse me, they have palms now, but To Be Everywhere is To Be Nowhere. 
Um, how fitting for a band that tours as much as they do. But it's also a 12 by 12 and it's signed by the whole band. Thrice and Parkway Drive being two bands I grew up with that I just absolutely love. Um, some more country, John Anderson. Um, here's a weird one. This is a Wurlitzer piano something. Uh, this Al Bullington guy, it's signed in silver and on the black, which I think is kind of cool. Um, again, I don't think that's anything anybody would be forging. Um, here's the album leaf. This is a cool one. Um, it's, it's signed, um, Jimmy, Jimmy, what's his name? Jimmy, the people who love album leaf hysterically are going to kick my butt for this, but I believe his name is Jimmy something. He put XOXO, um, I just like the, the Fender uh, Rhodes piano here and, and the music in general is something that I like. And, and I was looking for this album when I stumbled across the signed copy for the same price. So I just picked it up. Um, another one from this year, uh, same buddy who, who I went to Coheed with. He took me to uh, Paul Coffin, a uh, country singer who's kind of coming up right now. Uh, it's kind of more underground country. This is his record, Room 41. Um, he loved this record, probably in my top 10 for 2019. Anyhow, um, and, um, well, actually, yeah, I, this is his record that came out before that one. The one that came out this year is the one that has Big Velvet on it. This is the record before, but this is the one that he was selling and signing at the show. Um, ironically enough, if, if you can kind of see him, my buddy and I both have beards. We were wearing black and the three of us took some pictures that night. We all looked kind of like brothers. I thought it was very fun. Uh, and, and we were telling jokes and we were all kind of kind of lit up and he signed this for me. So it, it was just nice experience. Unfortunately, the record itself is rather warped, but um, he was touring with it and it helped him out. Uh, this is CKY, um, Bam Margera, skateboarding legend. His brother started this band um, probably in the early 90s, mid 90s. Um, and uh, I grew up skateboarding to like 96 Quite Better Beings and a ton of their music. And uh, while they don't have him in the band anymore, for whatever reason, I was at a horror con uh, in, in the valley, and he was there hanging out, signing stuff, um, Bam's brother. And he uh, he said, well, I have like a couple copies of a CKY record. And I said, well, I'll buy one if you'll sign it. And so he did, um, and he put it right on there, and he put 17 on it, which was the year he signed it, 2017. So pretty cool. Um, and then lastly, I actually found this uh, on Black Friday. I was record store day shopping. It is Taking Back Sunday, a band I loved, uh, high school and beyond. Um, and this is a greatest hits type record for their 20 years of being a band. And it's fully signed. Um, it was just in the bin at Zia. It was like $15.99. And I didn't have this record regardless, and I would have bought it whether or not it was signed, but I thought it was a bonus. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take faith to assume that maybe after a show they signed it. I, I'm trying to make sense of these uh, signatures. And I know um, some of the guys' names, but I, you know, it's neither here nor there. I also have several uh, signed uh, CDs from prior to my my uh, over affinity with LPs. But um, for what it's worth, it's not really about this signature as so much as it is about the experience of finding like a signed record or or getting the record signed. Uh, and I hope that you can concur with such sentiments. And I would love to hear about what signed records you have in your collection. Um, leave me a note in the comments below. Which albums have you gotten signed? Which albums would you love to have signed? If you could go back in time would it be Hendrix? Would it be John Lennon? You know, there's that famous record he signed just before he was shot that went for, I think, like $3 million a couple of years ago. So, you know, there's all these fun things. But I want to hear from you. Leave me comments below. If you like what we're talking about here, you want to keep the conversations going, subscribe to the channel. Take it easy.